Hi, the Living Arrow Sideback Quiver was redesigned to get a more compact arrangement like a arrow wall touching from behind the rear shoulder. Moving backwards at release the elbow, my outer part of the arm touches and press slightly on the next arrow to be shot. Using this contact point as a guide, my forearm rolls along the arrow, grasping safely and precisely a knock of the arrow. This very careful loading method is even more become more efficient and effortless when the loading is following and is timed with the dynamic of the release. The backward punch is an elastic motion like when a ball thrown against the wall it bounces back in the opposite direction. In fact the rear hand speed is increase in two steps. After the impact, the elbow stops, but the forearm continues moving back, rolling upwards like a rising a sword, then it bouncing back as a window slammed by the wind into the wall. The wind eats exactly the backward punch. Obviously, the optimal momentum to grasp the arrow is at the turning point from back front when the hands naturally it slows down so it's easy to grasp an arrow. Doing this, it means to use the energy of the release further for loading. So this is the new design about. Obviously the arrows inside the quiver should be enough stable to resist to this intentional touch check and in the same time easily to be drawn out from it and yes they are.